Hi there, welcome to the channel. My name's Shane and we're working on today reinstalling the quadrant, and this is the control lever for the hydraulics, onto this old David Brown 990 here that I'm refurbishing the hydraulics on. This quadrant fits right in here, sort of like so, but there's some things we have to do first before we actually get to the part where we reinstall it. There's a spring and a distance piece that we've got to put in place before we can actually get to the point where we install the quadrant. So if you're interested in this, stay with me. All right, one of the first things you have to do when you reinstall this quadrant is install this spring and this distance piece back on to this uh, connecting link here, but you've got to do it in such a way that it'll stay on when you're reinstalling the quadrant. So there's a hole actually drilled into the connecting link here that you can put a piece of wire into and then route that wire back out through the quadrant uh, so, that you, so that you can keep the, the spring and distance piece installed while you're doing all the work of getting a quadrant back on. A little bit of a process to get this thing on because this rod just wants to go straight backwards. All right, so we're gonna use a wrench. This is an 11 30 seconds wrench. It's something that you can use to get some pressure. There we go. That's in there now. I've got too much sticking out over here on the left hand side. I'm going to adjust that and pull some of that out. Because what's going to happen is you're going to reach up through here with a pair of vice grips or pliers or something and pull this out once the quadrant is back installed. All right, let's show you something real quick here. This connecting link down here has got to come through that hole right there. So what we're going to do is try to line that up and then we're going to try to put this top bolt in. I'm trying to feed that wire through. I do have a gasket on there. Let's find a bolt. half inch bolt heads. Don't want to tighten this up all the way. Just want to get them started because we have to put this annoying bolt down here on the bottom. Like I said, we don't want to tighten this up all the way just yet. Just get it loosely bolted on. So we may have to adjust it around just a little bit to get that bottom bolt started. Now then, do you guys remember in the previous video where I took all this apart, where we had to get underneath the tractor and get that annoying little bolt out. It's this one right here. There's three bolts that attach this quadrant to the tractor. The two bolts that are long go in the housing there. And this one fits down here on the bottom outside of the tractor. This is a quite difficult thing to show you guys. I'm sorry for the craziness here, but what I've done though is I came up, came up under just like so. And I was able to get this bolt. Where is it? 
what I did was I came up underneath. Uh, I'm actually standing outside of the tractor. I'm not underneath it. And I was able to get this bolt started uh, just using my fingers to tighten it up. You see all the pollen? Look at that. So, got it started. And now what I'm doing is I'm reaching up underneath. And let me move you to a better position here now. And now I come up underneath the tractor. I'm still standing on the outside, but and use my right hand to screw this bolt all the way in. And I get it tight there, this finger tight. Get those two internal bolts tightened up. I have to go look up torque specs for these. And now for the bottom, I showed you this in the video where I took everything apart, but I have these cool wrenches here, these ratcheting wrenches. Now I can reach up underneath. And I have just enough room to engage that ratcheting mechanism on that head. A couple of teeth. Okay, those are in there. I'm not gonna torque them down just yet. All right, now we will attempt to reinstall the front pieces to the connecting link. You need the distance piece first. Actually, I'm going to flip it around. I, I'm not quite sure. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know. That on this distance piece, there's a flat bottom right there. And then there's a kind of a conical side. I'm assuming the conical side goes towards the this piece right here. That's, way, that's at least the way I'm pushing to put it on. Lock washer and then this nylock nut. Nylock nut is a half inch. I'm going to get it started. All right, you see the wire is coming through now. Got a pair of vice grips. So I can get a good grip on it. All right. The wire is out. And I'll tighten up this connecting link just a bit. Just like so. There is an adjustment that we have to do to this connecting link nut to make it to where it lifts correctly, but I'll move the control arm here and you can see how it moves that connecting link back and forth. Cover fits on just like so, and the uh, four bolts that, four screws that came out of here, you'd reinstall. Once you do the adjustments uh, on the connecting link nut, put the cover on, bolt it back up. All right, I think that does it for what I wanted to show you guys in terms of putting the quadrant back on. I am not going to go ahead and put the roll pin back in the bottom of the parking brake down here just in case I have messed something up with the quadrant housing and I need to take it back off for some reason, I'll do the parking brake roll pin last. Well, I've torqued these inside bolts down to 15 pound feet. That's what I found as a general dimension for 5 16 diameter bolts, a half inch bolt head, 5 16 bolt diameter. So 15 pound feet is what I found in one of the manuals. If anyone has the actual torque settings that you found for these specific bolts for the quadrant housing, let me know in the comments below. In a future video, I'll go through the adjustment here of this connecting link nut. 
I'll go through the adjustment of this spring tension here and the cam plate inside of the right hand ramshaft bracket. I'll cover all of that in a future video, but I've got to get oil back into the tractor here and make sure the plugs are all tight and it doesn't leak. So those are the things I'll cover next. Yeah, I won't record putting oil back in a tractor in these 990s, at least mine. The oil fill plug is right there. Uh, I've got to go buy some oil and get it all filled back up. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover here today. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.